Milo, he's the sweetest old cat. Um, so, you know, he kind of tugs on your heartstrings there. He's so friendly. He is older, he is very underweight. Um, his coat's really matted. So whether that's because he's been outside and, you know, starved or whether he just wasn't taken care of, not clear. So, you know, definitely doing the blood work will give us a good picture. And if the blood work looks great, I mean, he's eating, he's friendly. So I don't see a reason that he wouldn't be able to go up. Um, because there are people who will take older animals. Some people specifically want older animals. And because he's so friendly, you know, he would be one that would be great. You have a very cute face. Really good teeth. Can we see? Yeah, I've had neighbors who, when they find out where I work, you know, the first thing out of their mouth is like, oh, that's depressing. I'm like, well, I don't find my job depressing. You know, I value my job. Um, I think that there's still that view on animal shelters that, you know, all we do is euthanize, unfortunately, which is not the case. We do provide medical care for these animals that come in. You know, we are spaying and neutering these animals so they're not reproducing, you know, as much. Um, you know, we do work with rescues. We do have foster care. We have all these different options. For me, personally, it's like, okay, you know, we've done what we can for this one. Now, what's next? Who, who is our next one that we need to go see what we can do for that dog? And those are the good ones that you want to focus on because those are your success stories.